When it comes to flavor and texture, the Vietnamese cuisine has absolutely got it nailed. And this dish is no exception. It's an incredibly simple one to put together, the dressing, the marinade, all in one. And then we've got a beautiful, refreshing salad to pair that beef with. So this part of the recipe is a, a two birds, one stone kind of deal. We're gonna do the dressing and the marinade all in one and then split them off and use them for their different purposes. So we're gonna kick off with fish sauce. Mind you, it looks like a lot of fish sauce, but it's going into two different avenues. So it's okay, don't be too intimidated by that. There's about four or five tablespoons in there. Um, just a little bit of rice wine vinegar, a couple of tablespoons. Some white sugar, probably three or four tablespoons in there. Again, don't be alarmed, dual purpose. There's about two inches of ginger that we peeled and just grated on the box grater. Of course, lemongrass beef wouldn't be lemongrass beef without lemongrass, obviously. So there's about four or five uh, sticks of lemongrass, white part only. You can finely chop it if, if you've got the patience and the knife skills, or you can use the little grater trick. So use the side where you've got the nice fine blades and just grate it down there and you'll get a really good result. Garlic, there's four cloves of garlic in there that have been finely grated. Bird's eye chilies, my old friend. So these have got some serious heat in them. Uh, if you're happy with that, go for it. The dressing's gotta be quite punchy. When you're pairing it with noodles and veg and bean sprouts and, and all of those textures, there's a lot of water content in there. So that's really gonna break down and, and numb the, the punchiness of the dressing. So go a little bit heavier on the chili. There's obviously plenty of fish sauce in there. You're gonna wanna go heavier on the lime juice when we finish it up, just to, Bring that dressing back up to par once you pair it with everything else. And then we've just got one Asian shallot that's been finely diced, lid on and blitz it up. All right, that's nice and fine. I'm just gonna give it a quick taste. That's really good, that's good. Plenty of lemongrass in there, fish sauces, on point. It looked like it was going to be a bit too much, but it's it's really mellowed out with all those other ingredients. Um, now I can split that off. So half of that is dedicated to the dressing. And then what we'll do, we'll spike that with fresh lime juice, and that's going to give it the acidity to lift up all of these other ingredients and have that, that, that really refreshing hit that we're after. And then this goes over the beef. And you're going to get sick of me harping on about marinating. I'm sorry. But with something like this, you do want to give it at least half an hour, 45 minutes if you can, to really let those flavors get into that beef. That's what it's all about. I'd love to tell you something different, but there's no other way to do it. You just need to give it a little bit of time. All right, so I promise you it's going to be well worth the wait. We sat that aside for about 45 minutes. Grill's nice and hot, away we go. So we're just gonna lay these down. Medium to high heat. We wanna get a nice medium rare on these porterhouse. I can, or as soon as it's hit, the fish sauce has just bounced off that grill. All right, so that's got some really, really nice bar marking on there. The color has been kicked on by the fish sauce and the sugar that's in the marinade. Now what we wanna do, the key thing to cooking a, a porterhouse or a steak of that sort of thickness, you want to have it out of the fridge about 20 minutes before you put it on the grill. It's all about bringing up that core temperature so when you hit the grill, you can cook it evenly on either side and you'll get a nice even cooking through the middle. You don't want to have to shock it out of the fridge onto a hot pan. You'll get a big grey circle and raw in the middle. You want it nice and even. So that is such a crucial part when you're cooking not just a steak, any piece of meat, any form of protein. Just knock the chill off it before you put it on the grill. So I'm just gonna transfer them onto a baking tray and into a hot oven. We've got the oven set at 220 and they'll go in for about five or six minutes and they should be medium rare. All right, porterhouse have been in for six minutes now. Just gonna check on how they're traveling. <laughs> just gonna check on how they're traveling. Oh my God. Right, I've got them out safe and sound. We're looking really good there. Same story, let them rest. While that's happening, we'll start putting this salad together. And it's a very, very simple one. Uh, we've just got some really fine vermicelli noodles here that we've soaked in some hot water. 
carrot and cucumber. Now these have just been hit over a mandolin, which is a really, really go-to tool for me in the house because I do cook a lot of, a lot of this style of food. Um, and it's because it's so textural, you wanna get those sorts of results with the veg. Really, really, really fine dice. If you don't have that, uh, I wouldn't expect you to be performing that with a knife. Use a grater, just a box grater, and you're still gonna get that, that textural difference that you're after. But if you can chase out one of those mandolins that shred, ace. Some bean sprouts, nice handful of those. And then a mix of herbs. This is Viet Mint, Thai basil, and coriander. Uh, if you can't get hold of the, the Viet Mint, it can be tough sometimes. But a bit of coriander, a bit of regular mint will definitely do the trick and give you some freshness. And then half a cup of well-roasted peanuts. When you're going to be roasting them, don't, don't pull them out when they're too blonde. They're not going to have that same sort of flavour to them. So give them a little bit more, get that colour on them, and crispy shallots. Now, I've always got a bag of these in the cupboard. Honestly, if, I, if I'm going to do like a little omelette in the morning, a bit of chilli jam, some fried bacon, crispy shallots over the top, some sesame seeds, some chopped spring onion. That's how I like to start a day when I get the opportunity. So I've got all of those goodies in there. Just going to roll all that through and then the dressing. So we still haven't spiked that with the lime juice, which is what's gonna give it that freshness, that acidity, that jaw tingling buzz that these salads are all about. So just got a couple of fresh limes here. So this is one of those dressings. This is one of those dishes where the term over seasoning really comes into play. So you've got some extreme saltiness from the fish sauce that's in the dressing. It's on the steak. You've got some extreme acid from the lime juice. You just want to balance that out, bit of heat, bit of sweetness, and that's going to be able to tackle everything that's in this bowl to make sure that that flavor is still there and it doesn't get lost. So just mix all that through. Taste. <laughs> Bang. That has got the intensity that we need to make this salad shine, to make it come through, make it punchy, make it refreshing. The texture's there, the flavor is most definitely there. If this beef is perfectly cooked, we've had a good day at the office. All right, now we're gonna dress the salad. And if you're anything like me, I don't leave any. I go overboard with my dressing. I wanna make sure there's absolutely truckloads on there. Everything's well and truly coated because after I tasted that dressing, I don't want any left in the bowl. It's gotta be on the dish. Make sure if you're portioning this up, if you're gonna share it with people, get to the bottom. That's where all of the, uh, the roasted peanuts are gonna be. They find their way down there. So make sure you get a nice big scoop of those. Always at the bottom. Now for me, Vietnamese food is all about freshness, flavor, it's got character, it's got acidity, it's got texture. And that dish is a fair representation of it. If you're ever in Vietnam, if you're ever in Hawaii, go and say hello to my mate, Mr. Dung at the fish sauce factory, and he's gonna show you a good time.